Hey, Michael at XForcePC.com. I want to talk about connections in the back of the computer and what we're going to focus on mostly is how to connect the monitors. That's where there's a, usually a lot of confusion. But first I want to give you a basic, basic tour of the back of the computer. Power supply on most of our systems is going to be down here. This happens to be a titanium system. This is the power supply. Air goes straight in the bottom and comes straight out the back. Air does not mix with the rest of the computer. Um, up here, we have all the motherboard ports in this little rectangular area. All motherboard ports. And um, you'll notice these are the sound connections. Typically, um, you're going to want to use the green one. Sometimes it's not green and it's labeled simply out, but that would be front speaker out. And so, uh, that if you have stereo speakers or a 2.1 system, that's what you would use. We have some blue USB ports. Those are USB 3.0. We have right here our network or Ethernet connection to connect to the Internet. We have some black USB ports up here. Black is USB 2.0, and that's where you would plug in like a powered USB 2.0 hub, maybe, if you've got some, um, some panels from us, SciTech panels. And then lastly, we have some monitor connections here. We have VGA, DVI, and HDMI. You should never use these. If you get a gaming computer from us, you do not use these. These are slow. These are what I call onboard graphics, and they are slow. The differentiator, or the big thing in the system, is the fact it has a video card, which takes up these two slots here. So you're only seeing the back of the video card here, but just so you know, this is what a video card looks like. It's a pretty big thing. I mean, it's if you look at it compared to the back of the computer, you know, it's a pretty big thing. And so in this particular one, this, this fan spins and all the air goes out the back. This is the part you see, just this back part. Okay? So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and um, so we can take a look here. Now on this particular video card, it's laid out a little different than the one in this computer. We have a DVI, a DVI, then we have... HDMI and then we have a display port right here. Okay, but we're going to take a look at the one in this computer now, which is laid out just a little differently. On this particular one in this computer, um, and again, these are the two slots we're talking about. Don't worry, these are just blanks down here. This one we have one less DVI and we have two more display ports. So on here we have DVI, display port, display port. HDMI and again display port. Note the difference between an HDMI and a display port. There is a difference even though they look very similar. Display port is flat on one side whereas the HDMI is rounded on both sides. So you want to uh, make sure that all of your monitors plug in to the video card. All of them. Anything you plug in anywhere else is going to be slow. And of course with X-Plane and with gaming, it's all about speed. So let's say you've got a, uh, your three monitors are HDMI. Um, so what you would do is, let's, if we were supplying the monitors, we would know this, and we, we would include the cables that you need. Or if you're supplying the monitors, then you just tell us, hey, you know, I'm getting monitor 29, so-and-so, so-and-so, and we go look it up and see what kind of connections it has. But let's say for this example that they're H the monitors have HDMI on them. Well, as we mentioned, we only have one HDMI connection on the back of this computer. But we'll certainly use it. So we'll take an HDMI to HDMI cable, looks like this on both ends, you know, and you'll plug that in there, and the other end goes to the computer. Then we might send you a, an HDMI to DVI, or DVI to HDMI, however you want to say it, cable. So you plug that in to the DVI. And lastly, we may send you a display port to HDMI cable. And so I plug this into one of the display ports. And so what, what I would end up with since we mentioned earlier that the monitors you chose or we chose have HDMI in the back, so we wind up with three HDMIs to plug into our monitors. Even though we're not using all HDMI here. 
we still have three HDMI to plug into our monitors. So this is just one example. One thing to note is when you go to unplug a display port, display port cables lock in. So you can't just rip them out. You have to push in on a little button on the side here. There's little teeth that come out. So make sure you push that button in before you pull it out. Now, um, HDMI, they just pull straight out. And of course, you're probably familiar with HDMI because that's what your television probably uses. So um, that's pretty much the rundown. You've got to make sure that you plug all of your monitors into the video card. And if you're going to supply the monitors, and it's going to be multiple monitors, make sure you communicate with us so we can make sure that you have the right cables that you need. And, of course, you're not going to plug any monitors in up here. If you have any questions, please email me at michael at xforcepc.com. Again, that is michael at xforcepc.com.